Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Um, a few results, you know, going, how can I say, against the odds for say. Um, you know, a few results, you know, a lot more higher games than what people expected. Um, a few of the games, one or two maybe upsets, depends how you look at it. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Bristol City versus Millwall. Um, Bristol City beating Fulham 2-1 away from home. Um, Bristol City actually went 2-0 up in that game as well. Um, you know, fair plan Bristol City... And they are currently sitting in fourth place, um, drawn points with Fulham. Um, just in case you're wondering what uh, points they are, they are 35 points with 20, ga with 20 games played. Um, so, you know, you've got um, that to bear in mind, 35 points. Preston are out of the player places as it stands by a point in seventh place. I'll talk more about them when I get down to their fixture. But as far as this one goes, I think I'm going to go for a 1-0 Bristol City win. My next one is Charlton Athletic versus Huddersfield. Um, Huddersfield losing 2-0 at home to Leagues. Um, I remember watching that game on Sky Sports. And I think Leeds were the better team over the 90 minutes. Um, especially when Leeds got the first one. I couldn't see no uh, way back for Huddersfield. Sorry, Huddersfield fans. Charlton Athletic had a shocking day away to Middlesbrough and lost 1-0. Um, Charlton are currently in 17th. Um, you know, um, for a team that's just came up from um, League One, fair play to them. Huddersfield are currently in 21st with 18 points and just two points off the drop zone. Um, this game is going to be very interesting indeed for one or two reasons. Um, one can chat and get back on the winning trail, or two can Huddersfield cause an upset. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Charlton win. My next one is Leagues United versus Hull City. Um, Leagues beating Huddersfield 2 0 away from home. Hull City. Beating Stoke 2-1 at home. Um, great three points for Hull. Um, you know, great three points for Leagues as well. Just to let you mention Leagues and, you know, thought there's no way back for Huddersfield after they got that first goal. Um, you know, still a busy Christmas period coming up from the Championship as well and all the English Leagues. So this could be a very interesting period for Leagues and the promotion um, push. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a 3-1 Leagues win. My next one is Nottingham Forest versus Middlesbrough. Um, Middlesbrough, you know, just not long mentioned them, uh, beating Shelton 1-0 at home. A much needed three points for Middlesbrough. Um, Nottingham Forest 2-2 two -two away to Millwall. Disappointing day, I think, for Nottingham Forest. Not because of, you know, how well they can play, and I know how well they can play, um, but going to somewhere like Millwall, who are currently 15th after this weekend's results with 27 points. Um, yeah, I'll probably be a bit disappointed if I was a Nottingham Forest fan, but... Great point for Millwall. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Nottingham Forest win. My next one is Preston North End versus Fulham. Um, Preston North End loses 2 0 away to Queen's Park Rangers. Fulham loses 2 1 at home to Bristol City. Let me talk about Preston. I'm going to talk about them because I have. Praised them over the past few weeks, I admit that. I know they could be strong, but the past couple of weeks they have dropped 
and I don't know how or why this has happened. Um, you know, going up against Fulham, possibly third defeat on the bounce, third, fourth defeat on the bounce. Um, this fixture is really crucial from the Preston point of view. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Stoke City versus Luton Town. Um, Stoke City uh, losing 2-1 away to Hull. Um, Luton Town beating Wigan 2-1 at home. Um, Luton went 1-0 down in that game as well. Um, but fair play to them for bringing that one back. Stoke, the future is still bleak. I mean, they're sitting in 23rd position with 14 points, let alone, um, you know, survival. I mean, four points of survival, um, and the only team that's on 18 points at this stage in time is Huddersfield, uh, Huddersfield Town. Um, and the, who's in 20th, which is Luton, are on 20 points. So you're basically saying, you know, between Huddersfield and Stoke, that's four, that's six games. So I got to win two games on the bounce and hopefully in that one of those bottom teams slip up. Um, but it's going to be another interesting day and as I said, an interesting Christmas period. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Luton Town win. My next one is Barnsley versus Reading. Reading losing 3-2 at home to Birmingham City. Barnsley losing 3-2 away to Cardiff. Barnsley did go in the lead in that game as well. Funny enough, so I think Reading did as well. Um, but, you know, both teams going in disappointed. Um, Barnsley are currently sitting on the bottom of the championship with four points between them and Huddersfield. Um, no, it's not four. It's six, sorry. Six points. Um... I can't see him doing anything this weekend, so as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Reading win. My next one is Birmingham City versus Queen's Park Rangers. Um, Birmingham City beating Reading 3 2 away from home. QPR beating Preston 2 0 at home. Great three points for QPR. Um, Birmingham. Who are currently in 13th place. Could be a big three points for them come May. But we're going to have to wait and see to see what happens. But as far as this result goes. I'll go for a 1-0 Birmingham City whip. My next one is Brentford versus Cardiff. Um... Brentford loses 2-1 away to Sheffield Wednesday. Cardiff beating Barnsley 3-2 at home. After a massive result on the weekend, Brentford uh, lost to Sheffield Wednesday. And I did mention that sort of happened. Um, I know like you enjoyed all these high results, but unfortunately it does come with a crescendo in a lot of it. Um, but Cardiff, great three points. Um, as far as this one goes, I'm thinking I'm going to call it my first draw for the midweeks, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. And between these two clubs are a point. So, you know, table switching game. Um, my next one is Derby County versus Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday being Brentford 2 1 at home. Derby County losing 1-0 away from home to Blackburn. Um, Derby County are so unpredictable this season. I mean, they're sitting in 16th place with 25 points. And last season, they were unlucky not to get promoted. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, same again. So, you know, it's... Going to be an, another draw, I think, and I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is um, Swindon Town versus Blackburn. Got the name out. Um, Swindon, uh, not Swindon, Swansea City 
uh, lost 5-1 at home to West Bromwich Albion. Blackburn beating Derby County 1-0 at home. I remember watching some of that um, West Brom Swansea game and I, you know, thinking to myself about, you know, how are they so high? Um, where were Swansea at them anyway? 11th. I mean, I know West Brom are top. Um, I know they went before kickoff as the Eagles overtook it. But how did Swansea go from what they were to this? It's happening a lot in football and I don't know what causes it. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one as well. My last one for the midweek is Wigan versus West Bromwich Albion. West Bromwich Albion beats Swansea City 5-1 at home. Yay, I got it right. Um, Wigan losing 2-1 away to Luton Town. Great three points for West Brom. Whereas, as I'm looking at this table, um, it's only a two-horse race, really. I mean, Fulham with 35 points. You've got Leeds with 43 in second. And you've got West Brom, who's top with 45. Um, this is going to be a one-sided game, I think. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 West Brom win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a little big fat fun hot during your it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.